Good morning, evening, and night, everybody. My name Juliet, is Juliet, and as always, my name is Jono. Yeah, that's right. And we interrupt this best news ever report with another best news ever report. We are your anchors, Anthony and Bunny. Today we have news of Zacchaeus climbing a tree yet again, uh, but it's not for the reason that you might be thinking. But more on that later. First, we need to cross over to our Futures presenter, Jenny. Jenny, how is the future shaping up? It's not looking like the best forecast today. Uh, in fact, you might say it is bad news. Uh, as you can see over here, we're going to have a high pressure system uh, that's going to lead to war and uh, rumours of war. That's going to be travelling south. Uh, as, as it travels south, it will bring with it some destruction, uh, famine and, uh, and misery. Uh, what we're also forecasting uh, is a lack of sunshine, moonlight uh, and the stars will be falling from the sky. As we take a look over here to the west, uh, we will be seeing some family breakdowns uh, and uh, destruction, conflict. Uh, and then over here, we are predicting um, a trough that is going to lead to people who follow Jesus uh, be being persecuted. Uh, and that is the forecast. Jenny, this sounds awful. Do you know when these things will happen precisely? We don't have a lot of detail, I'm sorry. Uh, these are Jesus' own words. And what it's telling us is to be ready and to be vigilant no matter what happens. Back to you, Bonnie and Anthony. This seems slightly the opposite of what I was expecting, Anthony. Is this really the best news ever report? Hmm, indeed. But to help us clarify this issue, we have with us our resident best news ever expert, Lionel Smarts. Welcome back to the show, Lionel. A pleasure to be here. Oh, thank you so much for being here. Mr. Smarts, could you enlighten us and tell us is this actually bad news? Well, it, it depends. If you're thinking in terms of uh, our current lives, then mm, not really, not necessarily. But if you're thinking in terms of eternity and how that shapes our lives, then yes, this is certainly good news. Mr. Smarts, I, I don't quite follow, I don't think I quite follow uh, war, destruction, uh, persecution, famine. How, how are these good things? Mm, well, yes, in a, of course, in and of themselves, they're not very good. But the key here is that Jesus is saying to his disciples and to us that uh, we shouldn't expect everything to be bright and rosy. Uh, if we have the wrong expectations, then when things uh, don't go the way we expect, then we'll be shocked and uh, we may start doubting God and his goodness. Uh, but here, Jesus is preparing us for what's going to happen. And then when it does happen, we'll be ready. Okay, well, I see that that does make sense. But what does this mean in terms of eternity? Couldn't Jesus just come back um, sooner so we didn't have to go through all of this? Mm, that is a good question. Mm. Uh, but as you notice, actually, uh, Jesus says that he'll make these days shorter uh, for his people's sake. And... Moreover, that after this, Jesus will come back and he'll complete his kingdom and all his people will live with him for eternity in peace. So Jesus is promising us that even though things will be tough in this life and uh, we may live in hard times, we may suffer, uh, he, he has told us that we shouldn't forget that uh, he'll be with us the whole time. And so we can trust him. And I don't know about you, but I'd rather know what to expect and know that uh, my God is going to be with me through it all. Mm. Well, thank you for clearing that up, Mr. Smart. That's helpful. Uh, we now have to cross live to our reporter, Justin Time. Uh, he's at the temple where, uh, the temple treasury, where apparently something is happening. Justin, what's going on? Yes. Good day, Bonnie. Uh, I'm here and the story here is that uh, I'm about to tell you the news. Uh, I'm at the front of the temple complex, and we have a poor little old lady who's approaching the temple. 
Looks like she doesn't have enough money. All experts agree she does not have enough money. I will ask her a few questions. Uh, excuse me, little old lady. Yes, yes you. Uh, uh, what do you think you're doing here? Don't you think you don't have enough money for this place? Certainly not. I might not have much, but I trust God. And whatever I have, I give to God. Ah, uh, yes, but do you think that what you have will be enough, though? Look, young man, God cares about our hearts. Jesus commands us to love our God with all our heart, all our mind, soul, and all our strength. I might not have much money, but what I have, I give to God. Everything. Thank you. Oh, yes. Well, well, uh... That's all the news we have here. It uh, looks like this news reporter has a lot of repenting to do. Uh, back to you, Bonnie and Anthony. Well, thank you, Justin. I think that's a reminder we all needed to hear that whatever we think, say, and do is offered to God. Thanks be to God that we have Jesus as our saviour. Jesus lived the life that we should live, and we can now live a life through him in faith. Well... That's a wrap for today's Best News Ever report. Wherever you are in the world, stay classy and trust Jesus. Good day. Good day, everyone.